Good, my TV. boy. Um, right now, How I'm your day still so far? in pain, but um, I just want to give you guys a little story time on um, what happened two nights ago. Chat, new vid, I got to switch my snack. On how um, I almost lost my life. First things first, I want to say thank you for everybody who was showing me appreciation on, on Twitter, Instagram, texting my phone. I think I said pineapple pizza is elite, bro. On whatever the case may be, I appreciate you guys a lot. Forgive me, because you know what I'm saying? I just woke up. Uh, you know, I have my, bad taste. My hair is crusty, you know what I'm saying? My face, you know what I'm saying? I just woke up. It's fresh off the wake up, you know what I'm saying? But um, just a little quick story time. So if you guys don't know, um, I have sickle cell anemia. If you guys don't know what sickle cell is. Jay, I know what sickle cell is. My little cousin got sickle cell. That's just serious, bro. Pineapple pizza ass. Yeah, there. So anemia is, it's basically when um your body doesn't take as much oxygen as others, you know what I'm saying? So basically, your you cells you is like a full circle blood cell shape, you know what I'm saying? And mine is like a half, you know what I'm saying? So like mine is like half compared to like the normal human body, you feel me? So I don't take as much oxygen as others. That's why we're not really allowed to play sports, basketball, boxing, taekwondo, whatever. Whatever the case may be, usually not football. We're usually hockey, whatever. We're not supposed to be playing any sports because when our body doesn't take as much oxygen as others and we overdo it, we end up getting sickle cell crisis, which means that like all your cells end up coming into one, kind of like a blood clot, you know what I'm saying? All your cells go to one and it creates a, a special type of pain, you feel me? Damn, nigga really almost died, bro. I want him to tell the story. Me. So, <clears throat> before we get into the story time, I just want to let you guys know a little background history and stuff like that. And I Isn't that like asthma? No. Nigga, sickle cell is way worse than uh asthma. Sickle cell, nigga, your body is, is just in complete fucking pain and agony. I know people in the conversation can be like, yo, random, I never know you have like, sickle cell, yada, yada, yada. That's because I well, live like I random. don't have it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't really want people to know I have it because, you know, it doesn't... And that's why, Chris really changed the outcome, you know what I'm saying? I kind of accepted who I am, and I don't know, I, like, I don't know. All you hear when you tell people you have sickle cell is, oh, I'm sorry, or I feel sorry for you, and it's like, bro, I might as well not even tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? But anyway... Here we go to the story, right? <laughs> I went to go play basketball at like 3 p.m. Now, if you guys don't know, on Twitch, I've been going to the gym a lot lately. Uh, super a lot. No. Not to where I'm trying to get my cardio in shape because, you know, even though I can't compete on the others as everybody else is because I don't receive yeah, as much do oxygen, I want to do the me? best I can. You got to you know stay hydrated. So I went to go real, play basketball. Bro. We played like four basketball games, maybe five. It was a lot of games. First of all, rat. You fucking suck. There's no reason or any way people picked you up five times. So that means you knew you was overdoing it, bro. Come on. Games, you know what I'm saying? First to 15. I ain't telling I you to live back your to life, back to back. Um, it was nonstop. And I, usually if you guys ever see me play basketball, which you have, you know what I'm saying? I usually get tired after like one or two shots and I just sit on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Because my sickle cell, I don't, I don't take as much oxygen, so I get tired quicker. You feel me? So since I've been going to the gym, I've been walking a mile every day, um, getting my cardio up. So I'm thinking I can handle for Chris to say scammer is kind of weird, bro. Yeah, no channel points does not work for sound alerts, nigga. Now, so I'm playing and I, I'm I'm really pushing myself. I'm like, yo, I can feel my cardio getting better. Like I'm taking like six, seven shots, running up and down the court, and I'm not even I'm not even tired yet. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, let's go. Like, thank you, God. Like, I'm, I'm my stamina is good. You feel me? We playing back and forth, yada yada yada, right? And I just I just start to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? The basketball basketball game was at like three. Basketball was at three, and I was supposed to pick this girl up at like six. So we end up hooping to like five. You feel me? So nigga, wildin', bro. And I was gonna play one more game, but then I started to feel like my legs was getting sore. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go home. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go home. Like, it's time. He don't understand, bro. Nah, he probably do. He probably did feel mad good. But, bro, my fat ass get on that court, bro. I don't feel that shit either. But as soon as I'm done, shh, nigga. Nigga, I feel everything, nigga. My knee is done. My back is done, nigga. Nigga, I already caught three cramps in my stomach, nigga. Not for me to go, go like, home, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when this girl texted me. She wanted me to pick her up at six. I'm so out I'm of like, commission oh, for fuck. three days. I, it was my first time. It was my first time linking her. So I'm like, yo, I can't bait on her if this is my first time linking her. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm why girls do that to you, nigga? Not to him specifically, but that's what girls do when they be like, lane, lane. The first lanes, they be trying to bait on you, nigga. Like, what the fuck? 
shit. I'll be like, I'll be some whole shit, right? So I end up going back home. I go take a shower. You know what I'm saying? I freshen up, cologne, whatever. You know me. Do what I do. You feel me? Anyway, I go pick this girl up. My legs are still sore, but it's not like bad. Never, you feel me? So I was gonna pick this girl up, bad. and we end up going go karting. You know what I'm saying? Best thing ever. Like if you guys know me, that's all I love to do is go kart. So we go go karting, and we meet like 10, 15 supporters, and she like, I'm like, yo, like I go live. You guys be going crazy when you see me in public, you know what I'm saying? But she Chad, what happens if you see me in public? What happens if you see me in public? Like, get one an autograph, get one a picture with your... Uh... Want me to sign your forehead? Get like, yo, I didn't know you was this big, yada, yada, yada. You know, she's like, she's like, yo, like, what's going on? You feel you like she's kind of confused, you feel me? But I'm like, yo, like, this is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to play it. I'm like, yo, this is regular. You feel me? Like, come on, man. It's regular. Anyway, we end up going go kart. As I'm driving while go kart, we do the only person two races, right? The first race, while I'm driving the go kart, I feel my legs shaking. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I already knew it was from the basketball, you know what I'm saying? So I felt my legs shaking. And I'm like, Oh nah, I'ma just slow down. I'm not even gonna speed. And you know when people bump into you and all types of stuff, it hurts your legs. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm over there just driving a go kart. You, you Bro, I'm gonna just die because that shit's not funny. Bro, this nigga driving a go kart. He got wobbly legs and nigga just keep bumping into him. <laughs> Usually I'm a try hard. I feel like nobody yeah, can sure. beat me in go kart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a try hard. You know what I'm saying? But I slow down. I just start playing it slow. You know what I'm saying? And then after I get out the go kart, I feel my legs starting to get numb a bit, and I'm like, oh shit! Like this is where I feel it. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, we go we go inside because like it's like a 15 minute 15 minute break period between each races. So we go inside and it's time for the second race, and I'm like, oh nah, like that wasn't enough of a break for me. Like. I need like a nigga still calling the way my ugly. legs was hurting. You know what I'm saying? I was like almost <laughs> limping. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and we go to the second race, and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna sit out because you know I was hooping this this morning. I told her I was like, yo, I was hooping this morning. I'm super sore. I'm not trying to go for nigga saying I'm and she's sore. Like, she's like, oh, I don't want to just go out there alone. I'm like, oh my god. Bro, you know she wanted to be with you, bro. She probably don't even like racing, nigga. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. Like, I cannot do this. So I'm like, you want me to go? I'm like, you want me to go out there with you? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, bro, that's you, nigga. Like, you fiending over the bitch, nigga. Tell her your fucking legs can't move, nigga. Like, what the fuck? My legs is out of it. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to tell her the truth. I was like, yo, listen. I cannot do this. Chad, I know the end of the story. That's why I'm mad race you feel me i'm like yo i can't do this second race we um let's be with a girl would you date like, yourself okay, be for real. You're food, so right? keep in mind I this girl is girl. fire like she look way better in person than she does she look on instagram or whatever right so anyway we go eat at this like steakhouse place right at this point i'm drunk keep in mind, i'm driving to the steakhouse place i feel my leg pain getting worse and like it got to the point where i feel like so let's say let's say yeah uh, yeah boy feel me Got the same thing that you are right now, then somebody from an alternate dimension, ultimate universe, whatever you want to call it, and it's you, but you're a girl, and they start trying to fuck on you and shit. Y'all doing it? Yes or no? Are y'all doing it? Look at this as you, but cuter. No. Yes, no. Nigga says shit. Like I said, that's me. You can't fuck yourself? Like, it turned from, from like, soreness to crisis. Like, I definitely felt crisis. You know they what fly, I'm saying? I'm, I'm fly, it was I'm small pain, it, so I felt like I could thug it out. And I'm in the back of my head, I'm just praying, like, yo, God, please let me thug this out. Because can, it, can't, it can't go down right here. Like, it can't. You know what I'm saying? So, we end up going to um, the steakhouse place. I drive to the steakhouse place. As soon as I get out the car and I take the first step, I'm instantly, boom, almost knee on the ground. I'm like, oh, my God, it's over. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm if she's limping cute, like, at this point. Movies? Like, I'm limping. I'm, I'm just apologizing to her because I'm like, yo, this looks very embarrassing. Like, I'm taking you out on the first date and, and, like, I'm damn near crippled. Like, I'm crippled. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, it's okay. It's fine. I understand. Yada, yada, yada. In the back of my head, I'm like, bro, you just took a fucking L, but you're just going to have to hold it. You know what I'm saying? In the back of my head, I'm just like, yo, she got you a big head, little body. Just took an L, bro. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? 
Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Fifteen more minutes. Oh, so the math <clears throat> I'm limping all the way to the to the to the steakhouse place because we parked across the street. We get to the steakhouse place. The wait time is an hour. I'm like, oh my god, bro, and just I, go home, like, oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we're not <laughs> we're not waiting an hour. So I'm like, alright, it's cool. Um, we just go to like Burger Fry or something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said like, Burger Fry. Food. So what we the go to fuck Burger, Burger Fry. Fry. She like, oh, you just you have a nice card. I want to eat in the car. Yada yada yada. She wanted me to take her home. So I'm like, oh my god, this is a L. I knew it was an L because I'm. I'm crippled, like you feel me, like it's an L. Like I knew I was gonna have to hold the L, you feel me? But it's cool. But nigga said I'm crippled. My 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 can't eat at the steakhouse. Leg pain at this time was starting to get worse. You know. He's dumb as fuck though. What nigga takes a bitch on a day and don't make reservations? Nigga, that's how you avoid shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Dumbass so, nigga never I'm been like, on a date before. I'm dying to take you home because I got. I didn't say it like that, but like, I'm like, yo, my legs is giving up on me. I'm dying to take you home. You feel me? Like, so anyway, thank God she lived like five minutes away from the place or whatever, right? So after she lives five minutes away from the place, I'm driving to take her back home. Whole entire time, I'm holding on my hip heavy. I'm like, yo. This shit hurt. I'm trying to thug it out. Like, I'm not trying to show, like, real pain. You know what I'm saying? So, it's getting sharper and sharper at this point. You know what I'm saying? And for those who don't know what Sickle Cell Crisis feels like. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Sickle Cell Crisis, bro. Well, you're about to hear from him first. For those who don't know what Sickle Cell Crisis feels like, here's an example. The most popular response was comparing but the pain young, to heart. being stabbed. One person wrote, I say it feels like being stabbed repeatedly while having a migraine throughout your whole body. You know? So, you ever had a migraine? Nigga said it's a migraine throughout your whole body while being stabbed repetitively. Imagine somebody keeps shanking you while you have a fucking headache and your body aching like, bro. I'm saying. And the second most common response was what? comparing it to broken bones. Some noted that it feels like multiple fractures and broken bones and glass flowing through your body. Um, Me, personally, what, what I think that crisis feels like, I mean, I've never been shot before, but literally, it feels like gunshot. Like, it, it literally feels like a like a, like you got shot before. You know what I'm saying? And, um, again, that was never one of the comparisons. Sometimes I do feel like I'm being stabbed in one specific area. Um, Other times, like I said, I've never yeah, been shot nigga, before he got or fight stabbed before. He got this I can shit guarantee on, you the pain is almost equivalent. You know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> so anyway, I drop her off at home and my legs were shaking when I dropped her off. As soon as she like gets out the car and closes the door, instantly the pain just, pow, you know what I'm saying? And um, the pain was so unbearable at the time that I couldn't even like move. I couldn't move. You know what I'm saying? And whole entire time keep in mind i'm in front of this girl's like driveway so i'm like oh hell no i need to move because like this looks weird i'm like in her driveway for like five to seven minutes like this looks super weird just standing in front of her driveway. wait this nigga just in her driveway keep in mind i'm in front of this girl's like driveway so i'm like oh hell no i need to move because like what this looks weird i'm like in her driveway for like five to seven minutes like this looks super weird just standing in front of her driveway you know what i'm saying so i'm like yo like hell no i gotta move so i'm like i'm trying to like force my body to move so i instantly spin the car Nigga around said the these are bad comparisons because they've never been stabbed before first of all you don't know you never know what happened to a motherfucker two you never been stabbed before and you never had sick of cell so you really can't relate to what they saying, nigga. So just take it what they saying and just believe it. The block, as soon as I get around the block, I put it in park and instantly my legs gave up on me. And um, I'm in unbearable pain for like 10 to 15 put his minutes. Car on park. And I'm in so oh, much pain that like, I couldn't even pick up the phone. I'm sitting there like crawling in my seat. Like my legs was done. I couldn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? And um, at this point, my body is starting to race. And um, if you guys don't know, sickle cell crisis can also cause fever. And my body Damn. is starting to sweat up bad. Like he caught instantly a fever. Bad, to the point where I definitely was running a I fever. I forgot about so, that shit. I'm starting to sweat. I'm turning the AC on max. And um, I finally picked up my phone like 10 minutes later keep in mind this is 10 minutes after i'm having the pain that's how long it took me to pick up the phone because i was in so much pain and nigga just in his car crying yelling screaming in pain then 10 minutes later he can finally get enough strength to pick up his phone chat finally enough strength oh, just to pick up I his call, phone um i called jew jew didn't answer the phone he's like yo let me call you back or something i'm like yo he, he, he could not call me back like it's an emergency so i called Eno. Eno picked up the phone and um his man yo bro his man i didn't even know jew did that Listen to what his man's was doing. He, he could not call me back. Like, it's an emergency. So I called Eno. Eno picked up the phone. And, um, and if you guys don't know, these are my roommates. You know what I'm saying? Um, I called Eno. Eno picked up the phone. I said, yo, give the phone to Jew immediately. And I told Jew what it was. I'm like, yo, it's an emergency. I'm in sickle cell crisis. He knew instantly because I'm crying on the phone. Like, my eyes are bawling out and I'm screaming in pain. You know? This nigga is ugly.
what I'm saying? And Jew's just like, yo, what's happened? What happened? What happened? Like, if Jew was here, he could probably describe the moment to you. Like, you would have thought I got shot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep in mind, my legs is not working. I'm laying like, I'm nigga, laying legs is not like working. This. Like, I can't move. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yo, come immediately, come immediately. And he's like, where you at? Where you at? So I sent him the, I'm like, I sent him the location. Here comes Eno. Eno pissed me off right here. He's like, yo, <laughs> yeah. bro, do you have, uh, do you have the address? Cause we got ways. I said, Eno, I just sent you my location. Get here. I don't know where I'm at. I'm in the middle of Miami. I have no idea where I am. I just sent the location. Just get here quick. And I'm just, uh, just imagine you about to die. You said niggas your location. And then niggas like, nah, bro, we need the exact addy. We can't pull up. Like, bro, nigga, if you don't just follow the location, bro. He's like, please stay on the phone, stay on the phone. And he's like 45 minutes away. He's like, yo, we 45 minutes out, bro. Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, bro, I don't care. Just get here. And keep in mind, um, I see cars like flying past me, um, just looking inside my car because I'm just parked in the middle of the road. You know what I'm saying? I'm just parked in the middle of the road. And I see a lot of people just looking at me. I'm just like, yo, who cares? Like, if, if it happens, it happens. You know what I'm saying? God forbid, but you know <clears throat> and um while this is going on like i'm starting to like lose conscious a little bit niggas so, say he's losing consciousness and niggas keep looking at his v at this point i don't have my wallet and i don't have my belt so i'm on the phone mm, like yo Jew, i can't find my wallet where's my wallet and i'm like patting myself down like you no know think the girl took it feel my legs i'm like patting myself i'm like bro my wallet is not here like i can't feel my wallet my so my wallet was gone in, in my my glasses you guys see i don't have my glasses Wait, nigga, my, glasses wallet and belt is gone what the fuck my glasses was nigga gone got touched. and my belt was gone i don't i don't know what happened you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> and in the back of my head i'm like yo if i got back doored yo if, if, if that girl finesse me out my wallet, she got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you at her house, aren't you? Or near her? You know where she live, nigga. Nigga, I'm going right back to get my stuff if she did take it. What the fuck? I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, yo, the I don't scary? even care. Just, like, let me heal. You know what I'm saying? And um, keep in mind, I was, like, losing consciousness at this point. So I'm, I'm just sweating in full-blown sweat. And I'm looking for my wallet. I can't find my wallet. I see my keys. I don't see my glasses. I don't see my belt. I don't know what's going on. It's like, I don't, I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? And Jude's like, bro, please call 911. Just call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. I'm like, okay, fine, fine, fine. So keep in mind, it took me like another 10 minutes to call the Nigga ambulance been because there for hours, again, bro. I was in pain. I can't feel my legs. My second phone, I have two phones. You know what I'm saying? I have two phones. My second phone was on the floor of my car. Keep in mind. Why did he just show us that? My legs aren't working. So in order for me to get the phone, I got to bend something down, new every day. and it was hurting my legs. You know what I'm saying? So I, I had to bend down. Like it took me like ten yeah, minutes. I never know what the phone call somebody, somebody down, has. I'm just screaming in pain. Like, like yo, ass. where are you? Where are you? And Juice like telling me the location off the location I sent him. He's like, yo, tell him you're at this spot. Tell him you're at this spot. So I'm like, okay. I told him where I was. Emlyn's drove past me at first. It took him like ten minutes to come. They drove past me at first. And and the guy, the the operator was like, yo, you sound in so much pain. Just please stay on the phone. If you don't know, you're in a very hot spot. You're in a bad neighborhood. And I'm Nigga, like, oh. what? Nigga said he's in a bad neighborhood with no legs, no belt, no wallet. Nigga's looking at his car. Oh my god. So and I already kind of figured it because there was people like looking in my car while it was walking around and stuff. So the ambulance ends up passing me and I'm screaming at the operator in pain. I said, yo, I just seen the light. Tell him to turn around, please, please. please. Nigga I'm said like, I just seen the light. What? begging the operator turn around please 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 and he's like okay i'll tell him to turn around i'll tell him to turn around so they turn around um they saw me again like i'm still like i'm in full-blown sweat the ac's on max i'm running a fever I'm, I'm still like um i'm still like like losing consciousness all i see is bright lights like i'm trying to fight it i'm really trying to fight it you know what i mean and Damn, um bro. sick and cell crisis has gone through me before I've, i probably had like over 10 to 20 episodes throughout my lifetime um only 10 to 20 Wait, it depends on what he thinks is an episode. Well, what he says is an episode. If this is what he means by episode, then... Yeah. What's it called? That, I feel like that's... I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. Nigga, my cousin... My little cousin got sick herself. She be in the hospital just, like, random, bro. Like... She's only, like, 15 or some shit. She's 15, 16, like... Bro, I'm pretty sure I seen her in the hospital more than 20 times, bro. And every single time, well, not every single time, but I would say three or four other times, it almost took my life. And, um, one damn, maybe that's what you mean by episode. I don't know how many, I don't think, I don't know, bro. 
Every time he had a crisis, it almost took his life. One time I was in a on a on a ventilator. If you guys know what that First, is, first niggas do you know more than saying? ten to twenty. Um, one time I was in a coma. Um, I don't know. This has been multiple times that I just really don't like to talk about because it gets very personal with me. But there's been times where I've almost lost my life to this disease. You know what I'm saying? And um, for for those asking for a cure, um, my mom wants me to get a cure f cure for it, but I personally chose to to. To keep it because um i felt like it really represents me and um i feel like i wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for sickle cell you know and um if you guys don't know what the cure is there's two types of cures one of them is a bone marrow transplant but you need to find a match which i think personally is going to be super hard to find a match for a bone marrow transplant and i never really got a friend or anybody to go test for it because i don't know i just didn't care and then the second is um genetics therapy you know what i'm saying and um i don't want to change my dna because i don't want to go through dna surgery and i end up up doing something that I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I wouldn't be. And this is why I waited. To, I know I made a face, but this is why I waited to say something, nigga. Bone marrow transfers that's OD, nigga. Changing his genet genes, nigga. That's OD. What the fuck? What's good, Jose? Myself anymore. And with DNA therapy, let's say I, don't know, I get DNA surgery and they swap my say, DNA bro, with somebody know, else's, and that guy likes I don't know. That guy likes freaking um cat. Like he has an obsession with cats, but me personally, I know I don't have an obsession with cats. Like you know what I'm saying? Like just different stuff. Like this is just stuff I I think about. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like nah, so I refuse that as well. But Wait, other than what? With DNA you, therapy, you get a nigga traits? They I don't know. I get DNA surgery and they swap my DNA with somebody else's, and that guy likes I don't know. That guy likes freaking. What the fuck? So when you get the genetic DNA swap or surgery, whatever, you get that nigga traits, bro. I don't eat no ass, and if I switch a nigga and I start eating booty, nigga, I'm gonna be mad as fuck. And, um, cats, like, he has an obsession with cats. But me, personally, I know I don't have an obsession with cats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is different stuff. Like, this is just stuff I, know the fuck I think I don't. about, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, nah, so I refuse that as well. But other than that, there's no cure, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> keep in mind, we're at this point where... Um, the ambulance arrives. All I see is a bright light. They roll me out the car, and I'm just telling the ambulance, I'm like, yo, please look, look, look through the car. Please look through the car, see if my wallet or whatever. And he's like, yo, um, where are your friends at? You can't just leave your car here. Your car's gonna get towed. You're in a very bad spot. Yada yada yada. Keep in mind, I didn't even know until yesterday. My mom told me when she before she um before she left. This nigga got violin music going on in the back. I actually had. A dent on the side fake of my car, and I don't even know where that dent came from. That's how unconscious I was. I might have hit something. I don't know, but the side of my car is damaged. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know how it Never got damaged. Crashed. Because I was what the fuck? Consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <clears throat> he's like, "Yo, you're in a bad spot. You need to get your car out of here. Where's your friends at?" And I'm like, "Yo, my friends told me to leave my keys in the car, and that they'll be here in ten minutes." He's like, "Nah, we can't do that. I can't. Like, your car is nice. I can't let you. It's gonna get vandalized. It's gonna get stolen. Trust me. Like, I know this area. Yada yada yada." He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna move your car." For you. I don't even think the ambulance is like, I don't even think that's legal for them to do that. You know what I'm saying? But um, if you guys see the text message, I'll show you the, you know what I'm saying, the, the firefighter or the ambulance guy. So here's it right here. He's like, hey, Mario, it's Jeff. Hey, Mario, it's Jeff, the firefighter from last night. The guy that moved your car, just doing a checkup on you and making sure you're doing all right. Yeah, I got discharged. I'm back home now. Pain is at like a five. They, oh, yeah, they be rating they pay, they pain on a scale from one to ten, Chuck. Thank you so much again. I could have really went left. Damn, I can't imagine. I've been doing this for over 16 years and have never had someone explain what you feels like the pain. Just happy you held out to your friend showed up. It's bad enough going to the hospital, but getting out in your car vandalized or stolen would have sucked. What the fuck did you show the firefighter from last night, the guy that moved your car, just doing a checkup on you, making sure you want to buy him a and drink? I told what him the that, fuck? He said, I can't imagine. I've been doing this for over 16 years, and I've never had someone explain what it feels like, the pain. Just happy you held out to your friend showed up. It's bad enough going to the hospital, but getting your car vandalized or stolen would have sucked. You know what I'm saying? So keep in mind, he moved my car for me, and he moved it at some spot. I don't know. And he told you and Eno where the car was at. I don't even know where he moved it to. You know what I'm saying? Um, Thank God, five minutes later, they started putting sticks on me i'm in unbearable pain i'm crying my eyes out you know what i'm saying i'm yeah, bawling my eyes out because i'm just I'm like dumb. yo after all the stuff that i've been through with crisis and me losing consciousness Probably. it's like i finally felt like Jack, what it i don't was, even know how close that niggas be to death like i'm so dead ass y'all might think this is corny or a cat bro you ever miss a fucking bus you ever miss a train you ever woke up late bro I'm telling you, nigga. Dad, I wish I didn't miss it. I wish I woke up early, bro. Just be grateful, bro. You could have been at the wrong place at the wrong time.
When yeah, man, people, hiccups, you know, bro, I swear to God, know, I almost died from hiccups. I'm saying, like, I always, like, God forbid, but, like, when sometimes when people are going through I swear to God, bro, I don't know, life, last year, right, babe, last year, I don't know what was going on, maybe I just got too fat, but every time I would laugh too hard, the hiccups would come, and it would just, just, I don't know, bro, it would just try to yeah, kill every me. every time you lie. Nah, nigga, I don't lie. <laughs> Cat. You know what I'm saying? Whether they get shot, bleed out, whatever the case may be, they don't. They, they're in so much pain that they don't even want to. I almost got a big, almost got a big butter cup, nigga. What? Fight for their life. You know what I'm saying? Too. And that's that's how I was feeling at the moment. I was in so much pain that I'm in the back of my head. I'm just like, God, take me now. You know what I'm saying? I remember and, the time um, I did. Keep in mind, bro. I'm losing consciousness. Who the at this fuck point. acts? I'm, I'm sweating and in the I back of my head, like, acts. no. You know what I'm saying? You fought three, four times with this. Don't let the devil win. Um, you can't let the devil win. Like, who who cares what anybody thinks? Like, you're too strong for this. No. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like it's bawling me, my nigga. eyes out because I'm having like it's like a, it's like Jose, an what's that shit I came up with? Bro, I hate fat people that gotta shake up the whole fucking bag just to eat something, bro. Like, damn. Why are you saying LV? This douche nigga is weird, bro. It's like a devil on one shoulder. Like, bro, just that nigga like, never stop being out. weird. You know what I'm saying? Just give out. Just give out. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, ain't and you on my dick, nigga? Like, Yo, you can't give out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, that's you're too strong for this. Like, you, you, can't, you can't give up right now. You know what I'm saying? I can't so, eat you, they um, put me in, a, in an ambulance. The guy's telling me, he's like, Yo, you are super dehydrated. And I told him, I was like, I'm saying you gotta stay dehydrated. Put an IV in me, something. I stay dehydrated. I be drinking water. That's all I kept telling him was hurry because I was in so much pain. And they to put an IV, but I just kept moving. They, they couldn't get an IV through me. They're like, yo, you're dehydrated, your veins ain't popping out, and you're moving. So they're like, yo, we're gonna give you, um, I'm like, yo, can you give me pain medicine? They're like, yo, we can give you, um, morphine, and morphine is, is addictive, so my mom usually tells me to refuse it. So I'm like, no, is there anything else? And they're like, yeah, we can give you Toradol. So they gave the me fuck? Toradol, and they stuck the Toradol through IM, you know what I'm saying? They stuck it through my shoulder because they couldn't find any veins, and, um, after that, I'm still crying in pain and this and the third. They gave me, like, passion fruit water it's supposed to be like three times the hydration of normal passion fruit water water and i'm drinking it and he's like i drunk like a he quarter got hit by he a said, car? sir you need to finish bro, it bro during I elementary school i always thought i was gonna get hit by a car bro because when somebody like the street the street where you cross to get to the school at it wasn't even a fucking big street it was literally a small ass like bro yeah, I have a minute. You just had to cross the street and shit was like this close together. The sidewalk and this sidewalk was bad close together. But bro, nigga got hit on that. Nigga got hit there before. So I'm just like, what the fuck? And we have crossing guards. How the fuck is that possible? So I always thought I was going to get hit by a car in elementary school. I care. You need to finish it. So I'm just like, I'm selling it. Like, he didn't Yo, even you know. say I'm straight. I don't like boys. He said, nah, because I'm selling it. I'm going to finish it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't so know. I'm chugging the water. It just, this um, is just too after gay. that, we end up arriving at the hospital. After I arrive at the hospital. Sorry, this is probably like a long story. But um, as soon as I arrive at the hospital, the pain met, the painkiller starts to kick in. So my far. pain drops from like a 10 to like a 7. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, at least you got better. They said I can only have one Visitor, you, 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 you know, you know who I chose. I chose you. You know, no offense to Edo, but I was riding my I was riding my bike and ran over a rock and flipped and I landed on my head. That day. So I chose you. Um, Chat, you ever ride a bike, ride a school to play outside, manhunt tag, and you just scrape your fucking knee, your leg, your arm, anything, and you just see the white meat? You know how many times I see my white meat, bro? Jew came in and he's on the phone with my mom and. I'm just bawling my eyes out. I'm, I'm just crying. But, like, my, my pain started to get numb because of the painkillers. So, I'm telling Jew, I'm like, yo, Jew, I'm oh, mad because I'm in can a you hospital twerk? Can you? in pain and I'm crying right now. But I'm also crying. I told Jew, I said, yeah, yo, I Jew, I'm the blood also up. crying because it happened in front nigga of the vampire. Nigga, weird. Uh, nigga, me? a vampire. So nigga, like, a cannabis. I'm a like, cannibal. Yo, I'm more crying because I'm in pain. But I'm, nigga, I was really mad because it happened. Oh, y'all don't have to be gay. How many times do I have to tell you? Y'all don't. That's not a personality trait, bro. <laughs> it's like, you know it's not. Saying? So keep it's in mind, not. I'm sitting there crippled in front of the Who's female. Pick? I'm, I'm, mad. I'm more mad that I'm crippled in front of the female than I am at this hospital because I could have been to the hospital afterward. Listen, as long as I could have finished out that day, I would have went to the hospital Who's later. Like, I didn't care. You feel me? Like, she was fired. You, you feel me? So, 
Just like, yo, you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you're an unbelievable Nigga was worried about the bitch more than his own house. Off and all you thinking about like, is females. Nigga, get you know another saying? bitch. Keep in mind, like, I'm, like, making, I was, like, making jokes that? at this point. Like, in between, just a little bit, just because I like to have a positive attitude even when it's the worst. What are you worst. talking like, about, like, Even when I got into the ambulance, I was asking. I was losing so many things. Like, I lost my wallet, my glasses, everything. I'm losing so many things. I'm sitting there asking the ambulance, yo, is my chain on? Is my chain on? I can't feel my chain. Is my chain. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how bad. It was. I was losing so many things. I'm like, yo, it's my oh, chain yeah, you around my neck. You feel me? Like, I didn't know what was going on. Wow. So anyway, um, we sitting in the hospital. We wait like, I, like an hour outside the hospital bed. Yes. So at this point, we're at the um. We're outside the hospital. I ain't gonna and, lie, Chad. Um, I gotta wear a tank top. up tweeting out that I was it's in the too hospital. Hot. I don't want anybody to know. I'm because personally, hot. I don't like people my finding top out, dirty. you know what I'm saying, about the stuff that I go through personally. Because I just feel like, I don't know. I like to keep things a lot personal. Mm. And I tell everybody, like, ever since I moved here, I started getting anxiety as well. Because there's like a million I tabs open in my head. Like, for one, you gotta stream. For two, you gotta upload. For three, it's like, yo, make sure you check up on your brother's gonna be pissed. For four, it's like, yo, make sure you check up on your sister. For five, make sure you do your sponsorship. Six, make sure the house bills are paid. Fuck, why Seven, are make sure you go dots. to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Or like just like a million tabs open yeah, in my head. Weird, Eight, make sure you text this girl back. Or, I'm not talking or, to you. Because you know you gotta apply, you gotta stay applying pressure. Nine, you know what I'm saying? Like there's like a million tabs open in my head. You know what I'm saying? So why? I, I just like to go jokes? through what I'm going through alone by so myself mean? because I, I feel to? like that's the best way to cope. I, I have friends who help me, obviously, but that's just the way I cope with things, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't even want the news to get out at first, but June ended up tweeting it, and then like I didn't even know who tweeted it until people were calling my phone and texting me. So after that I'm like, okay. Niggas I'm, always gotta get on the internet, bro. Two weeks ago or something, when we whole hospital, family got hit by. I took a picture. The picture ended up going viral on Twitter, and it had like, still to this day, it has like 1.5 million impressions. I was trending on Twitter. It was crazy. Um, and it really just showed me that you guys really do support and love me. And um, it's crazy because it's like, yo, I'm in a hospital for sickle cell. Why do I have to do 25 pushups? For when I got jumped. But they still like, has shown me support and love, or would they spend like, oh, she, ha ha loser, yada yada yada. You know what I'm saying? That's just, just stuff I was just going through in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so sometimes I feel like it was fake love, and other times I'm saying. Alright. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was meant to.